As a place just working to build a community to allow for discussions or providing specifications you can write to so you can have an educated decision on your purchases. So if that's something you're looking for, please consider subscribing to the channel. We're going to be talking about uh, a best tech knife today. Uh, There's the reticulum. Uh, this is one that is super tiny. Uh, so a lot of the discussion comes about as far as uh, like how big of a knife do you really need? Uh, so I mean in working through uh, light to medium EDC tasks, do you really need to have a large knife? Uh, I would say probably not really. Uh, so that's where you're going to be having either you're going to bring a, a big knife, you're going to cut the package, we're going to bring out a little knife, and you cut a package. So for that uh, type of task, is it really necessary? As then you go into different uh, methods as far as, okay, well, what else am I going to use this knife for? Uh, so and then you go into the matter of uh, tactical. Uh, so uh, for tactical reasons, I'm going to want a big knife because uh, if anything went down, this isn't going to do it. Uh, so I would want to have a big knife uh, that when I take it out of my pocket, and then I'm actually going to use it for that tackle purpose as far as protection and everything else. Uh, then I want a big knife. Uh, so I'm going to go over to uh, one of the experts on this. So check out as far as what he says about that. Guys, Mr. Obnoxious, Special Forces Navy SEAL Ranger here to show you a couple knife defenses. One in particular. Now, I'm just going to go full speed on this. So pay attention and hope you learn something. Good. And of course that is a joke as well, but it is actually kind of realistic in a sense. I mean, you don't want to get into a knife fight. Um, so if you come about that situation, you're most likely not going to be picking, pulling out the knife. You're not going to be pulling out that knife. You're not going to be probably pulling out that knife. You might pull out that knife, but now this is going to be one that you're probably not going to have uh, for it. Uh, did actually increase the detent weight on this. So I was only getting about two pounds of pull. Uh, and then uh, increased it to 4.5 uh, so it should have a little bit better detent uh, in pocket so it's not going to deploy in my pocket and also I did add in a kind of little ridge there uh, just so it just just so I didn't have that much pressure on my finger as I'm uh, basically uh, closing it down so that's one thing that happened with that uh, we also do have uh, one of the things that just happened for the KPL versus blue lube uh, so did that in a video that seems like it's being received pretty well as far as uh, a base standard for how to test as far as uh, between uh, lubricants as far as which one does better. Uh, so check out that video as well. Uh, and then uh, we're going to go into this one here. Uh, so this is going to be one that uh, is going to have a few different carry methods uh, that's a little bit different. So you're going to have the tip up carry uh, for right hand side, uh, but you're also going to have uh, basically the neck knife uh, with chain so it does come with that uh, in the box uh, i did find that this is going to be a bit a bit tight as far as uh, something to carry uh, so that's where i mean you could pull it out of there but i think if this was around your neck and you just tugged on it tugged on it uh, then you're probably going to break the chain and then uh, then you're going to have basically you're going to be carrying around with this because you're going to just break the chain off so that's one thing for it. Uh, it's kind of if you rotate it uh, one way, uh, then that would be uh, the least amount of resistance. Uh, but otherwise, uh, it's pretty tight in there as far as that goes. So I think that's a little bit of a drop as far as uh, how much uh, detent that actually has for this tiny knife uh, for uh, this one. So we'll look at some of the sizing for it. And this is kind of going to be that um, um, micro knife uh, type of thing. Uh, so that you have this one here. Uh, you're going to have uh, this one from Best Tech. This is a S and S, the Saturday Night Special. Uh, you also have this one uh, that you're going to see on the pass around groups uh, for the Bastion Braza or Braza Bastion Mini Braza Bro. Uh, for this one here, uh, you also have like a knife called the Ladybug for that size there. So these would probably be the micro knives. Uh, and then this one. Um, that I just had laying around, I would probably be considered like a, a nano knife. So usable, 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 not usable, but it's kind of cool. Uh, so those are the things that you have for it. Uh, so normal EDC tasks, 
uh, the little knives aren't going to be bad. Uh, also, it depends, I guess, on what you're going to be doing uh, with the knives, too. Uh, but steel uh, for this one is S35. S35 is going to be a good steel uh, for anybody that needs it. Uh, so it's going to be starting out with corrosion resistance, which is going to be pretty well on the scale. And then you're going to have the hardness of that steel. Again, that is going to be uh, something that is for heat treating. So you can have a really good uh, a steel. So it could be S35, and then uh, the heat treat on it uh, could be very poor. So check out the steel chart uh, also in the description. So you can see as far as the knives that were sent out, uh, either through myself or Love Them Knives. Also, Jack Farmboy had one knife they sent out as well. Uh, so you can see uh, that there's some knives that are the steel that they're stating they are, and then uh, just the, the heat treat wasn't done properly, uh, so the hardness isn't correct. And then you do have also edge retention. Uh, so uh, there's a lot of new steels that came out over time, uh, so it is still uh, kind of an upper end for S35, uh, but there's still quite a few other steels that uh, kind of trump it as far as the actual edge retention. Uh, for the knife. This one goes at 1.2 ounces um, and then with everything else, so with the chain, uh, this one goes to uh, 1.8. So very light uh, with it. Uh, it does have the light switch is the opening method for it. So just like that, it flips pretty well. And then uh, I only did it probably once with the middle finger flick. I'm not going to try that here because it's very difficult. I mean, if you want to really um, practice that, I guess you could do it. Uh, but it's really, I mean, even pinch, pinching and rolling this out is fairly difficult as well, even with that little cutout. Uh, so it's really going to be probably that light switch uh, for it. Um, otherwise, a two-hand operation, kind of like a more of a slip joint uh, type of method. Uh, for the uh, the knife roll, you're going to kind of see how that is uh, for this one here. Uh, so that's going to be uh, how that carries uh, in the pocket. So that does have that uh, right-hand tip-up. And then photo side, photo side for it, a uh, blade is about 2.24, and then uh, it lists for about two inches, uh, so it's a little bit longer. But I got a measurement for it, and then the handle side, a uh, 2.93, uh, the listed one was 2.875, so really not too far off on that uh, for the knife. So for the sharpness for this one, it tested out at about 240, uh, so that's going to be into that new high-end cutlery, uh, so a decent edge that comes um, from the factory uh, for it. And then uh, we'll do the pull test for it uh, just to see uh, as far as uh, what this comes out to be. Now uh, we're going to do that in grams. And then uh, no, me actually, no, we'll do that in pounds. So pounds about uh, two, uh, two to three pounds is pretty good for pull. Um, I'm kind of concerned with this because uh, last time I did it, it did um, fall out of my hand. Uh, we'll see how this works. So 2.66. Uh, so uh, not bad for the weight, and then it is still a small knife, but it does flip uh, fairly well uh, for that blade. Uh, so the current pricing for this one is $111. $111 uh, for me, uh, for this, it's a pretty knife. It's something that is actually very uh, nice, and that knife is in the picture there, but uh, it's very nice. Uh, it's a kind of artwork. Uh, as far as that goes but as far as something that i would want to have around actually use and everything else uh, 111 is a bit steep for that uh, so that's where uh, for me uh, i would probably say to avoid this one not for the fact that it's a bad knife or anything else it's just it's not going to be anything that uh, i would really go for and in comparison to the other ones uh, as far as the micro knives uh, i would probably use the other ones more uh, because as i said on this one uh, the retention on this is too stiff. I tried neck knives before and I didn't really care for it. And then really by pricing, uh, Bastion, and this one is going to be $40 uh, full MSRP. They run sales all the time. Uh, you can do Bastion blades for 20% off uh, for the pass around group. Uh, so uh, for this one, I mean, this is 40, uh, that's 111. Uh, so Really, you could buy almost, you could probably buy three of these for the price of that one. So I uh, appreciate Best Tech for providing the knife uh, for review. Uh, and then uh, this one is, uh, again, very well done. Uh, does remind me as far as the Tuya, as far as the build quality and everything like that. Uh, so it is a very nice knife. 
uh, but it's more something that you can really just really appreciate uh, the work that goes into it, the amount of detail that goes into it. Uh, but as far as something to use, carry around, uh, I don't. I think you can find a, a few things that are a little bit better for that. But whatever works for you on that, uh, then that would be a great knife for you uh, for the knife. But let me know in the comments down below as far as what you think. And uh, check out anything in the description as well for some of those links to some of that other information. And thank you again for your time.